Our approach to emerging market debt is to consider the reality for emerging markets. And the reality for emerging markets is that they're both buffeted by global capital flow, global macro matters, but at the same time, the trends, the idiosyncratic trends of individual countries can matter significantly. So you need to understand what's happening in the global economy and how that impacts emerging markets, but at the same time be aware of the idiosyncratic trends within individual markets. And that's a challenge, but also the great reward of trading in emerging market. 2020 has got off to a good start for emerging markets and we're hopeful that this is a year where we see a more meaningful growth differential between emerging markets and developed markets. For the first time since 2013, we've started to see emerging market figures outpace those of developed markets. PMIs are a really good case in point. That being said, we're not expecting a V-shaped recovery. The core word here is stabilisation, with expectations for improvements on the upside. We've seen a signing of a phase one trade agreement and hopefully that will mean we see a decline in uncertainty and we can see a pickup in trade flow which should benefit emerging markets. But on the other hand, we've had a flare up in geopolitical tensions in the Middle East and we do have to watch oil prices very carefully. So as always, as an EM investor, hopeful but with an element of caution. Sustainability is at the heart of what we're doing as emerging debt investors. We have the privilege of being long only investors by its very nature and by definition, that's investing for the long term. We are the stewards of our investors' capital in these markets. So we have to take sustainability into the heart of what we're doing in terms of our analysis. Sustainability in a context of emerging markets means long-term growth sustainability, debt sustainability, sustainability of natural resource management. And it means digging deeper, it means looking at education, it means looking at health, it means looking at environmental projects and impact to climate change. You have to go further than buying a report off the peg, you have to go out to these countries and visit the relevant organisations. And that's what we do.